In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use recharge subscriptions on Shopify. This is going to be a complete beginner tutorial and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started and using it right away. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is install it onto your Shopify store and it's actually very easy to go ahead and do that. You just need to go to this page here. I'm going to leave a link down below. Uh, it's the Shopify app store with recharge subscriptions. You need to go down here to this button that says install. Click install and it's going to go ahead and add it to your Shopify store. Now give it a second, depending on your Wi-Fi, it might take a while. Press install and then you should be ready to go. So once you've installed it onto your store, it's gonna go ahead and ask you if you want to use the standard plan or the pro plan. Now it's not cheap, it's $99 a month for the standard plan, but you will get a 30 day free trial just to test it out and all that kind of stuff. The pro plan is $499 a month. You get um, basically some more customization options, A-B testing, that kind of thing. But for now, I'd recommend just starting with the standard one. Uh, it's gonna be completely fine for basic needs. So recharge is very simple to actually use. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and pick a product that we want to have a subscription on. So I'm gonna add product. I'm just gonna type in here. For some reason, my products aren't showing up. Now, if like me, it's not working for you, that's completely fine. We can just go back to the uh, explore recharge bit and we can just add it in again from here. So I basically just went back to the explore recharge bit and I came back here and I refreshed it and it's kind of worked for me now. So here we go. I'm just going to add this product here called sub product. Now it's going to ask, how do you want to sell this subscription product? So you've got one time and subscription or subscription only, meaning that people can buy it once or they can do subscription only. I'd recommend doing this one just to give people flexible options. And you can give them a discount if they do do a subscription. So I'd say 10%, maybe 20% if you want to. The frequency, you can change that. You can do every 30 days. But you can also have multiple frequencies. So you could say every 15 days. And this, um, you can also change this to weeks. You can change this to monthly. But I'd recommend doing every 30 days. But it depends on your product and what you're selling. So we can go ahead and press next. And what that's going to do is going to set up the subscription on that product there. And now it's going to basically show us how to install it on our theme. So it's quite simple to do. We just need to go to our Shopify store. We need to go to online store here, make sure we're on themes, and we need to go over to where it says customize. Now, once we've pressed customize, we need to find our product. So let's say this one here. We need to go onto the product page here and we need to press add block. And we need to go to apps and we need to go to subscription widget. So this is going to be the subscription widget for basically buying the subscription. And we just want to put this um, above the add to cart button, ideally. So I've just put mine in there and I'm going to press save. And that should be ready to go. You might also have to go to the app embed section and you can see here it says recharge theme. You want to turn recharge on and you're also going to want to turn off any other apps that may interfere with this app. So any other subscription apps that might interfere with it, you might want to turn those off. Um, so just go scroll through and have a look if you do have any. Once you've done that, you can go through here and you can go ahead and verify it. And it will verify that it's correctly been installed in your theme and you can go ahead and press next. Now it's gonna ask us to publish the widget. I believe that we did just publish it. Um, and we see there it's published. And now we can press complete setup. So that is basically the first subscription product set up there. Uh, we've got a subscription checklist, so we can um, confirm that it's check it's on the page and we can create our first order. And yeah, we've got a few things there. So we can go to home now. And once we're on home, we can see a few things. We've got our gross subscription revenue. We've got our subscriptions checkout, our subscriptions recurring and our add-ons recurring. So stuff like that. We've just got all of our details here, you know, our analytics, subscribers, active subscribers, um, all that kind of stuff in here, just so you can see some cool stuff. It's also going to be able to predict how much revenue you're going to have in the future, which is pretty cool. Um, and we've got things like upcoming orders. So this will list out every single order that's about to come out soon. And we also have benchmarks. So this is going to be telling us how good we are against our competitors. So we'll be able to see stuff like the average order value of a competitor, the average churn rate, um, all that kind of stuff. So we can see how we can improve our store. Now over here we have the retain section. So essentially this is going to be a flow which when they try to cancel, it's going to ask them a few questions. It might try and incentivize them to stay with a discount, that kind of thing. Um, and as it says, it can reduce churn by up to 44%. Essentially it's just like a customized flow like this. But again, this is gonna be on the pro plan, so we won't um, look into that too much. 
All we can do here is we can go to subscriptions. It shows that all the subscriptions we have, all the customers who are subscribed. And if we go here to the products, we can see the products that we have set up subscriptions for. Now this one here, we can go ahead and edit and we can just manage the plans on it. And these are all the settings that we set up earlier, but we can edit them or we can add another plan, that kind of thing. Now something that Recharge does that's quite cool is they have this thing called apps and their apps, we go to the marketplace. We can install the apps for a lot of different reasons. Now they've got um, some different ones here. They've got one, I believe it's called um, like Logic or something like that. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, workflows, that's it. So workflows are quite, quite useful because this allows you to do things like free trials. Um, so the way that it works is that you can basically set it up so that someone gets a free trial for 14 days and after 14 days the product switches over to the subscription product and they get charged full price for it you've got um you know skew swaps you've got things like that so maybe you want to have a monthly box or, or it switches item or something like that inside of the workflow section you can basically customize all of these um, just put a name in and you can basically add conditions so there's lots of conditions here and then you can add actions but you can do things like if the product has X in the name, then switch it to Y product after 14 days. But there's just a ton of cool things you can do with all these different marketplace apps. You've got um, lots of integrations as well. Um, you can integrate it into your Clavio, your Mailchimp, which is super useful for sending people, you know, emails and that kind of thing about their products. Now, if you go to settings, I believe it is, you're going to go to the notifications tab. These are going to be emails that people get or notifications people get about their subscription. So they're going to get one when their subscription is activated. When it's they're not going to you know, they're not going to get one that cancelled, but you can turn it on if you want to. Um, you've got your recurring charge confirmation, and they also have things like you're going to get a um, upcoming subscription charge. So this basically means that before they get charged, it's going to send them an email. And this is all good because it allows them to, or allows you to reduce churn rate, reduce chargebacks as it informs the customer. Now they also have a customer portal, so it means that people can go ahead and cancel their orders if they want to. Uh, I'm not sure where the customer portal actually is. It might be on accounts or it might be in store. Let's have a look at store. Oh yeah, under storefront we've got customer portal. Essentially, this is a portal that allows people to cancel their subscriptions, so it can just help you to reduce your customer service. Um, and we can look at the theme here. We can customize it. But basically, if we preview it here, they have to put their email in, um, they'll get a password, and they'll be able to cancel their subscription, all that kind of stuff. So it just gives them a bit of flexibility. It means that you don't have to deal with all of that kind of stuff. We've got a subscription widget here, so it shows all of the colors, all of the um, designs, that kind of thing. Then we have our translations here, and we have our quick actions. We also have things like discounts here that you can um, have a look at as well. But that is just basically a sort of beginner's walkthrough of how it all works. Um, I'm just trying to kind of give you a base understanding of how you can set up a simple subscription and that kind of thing. If you go to your store, you should be able to go onto your products and see the subscription there, the subscription button. Uh, it should be around here. If you don't see it, then you can ask support. They're very, very good at helping you install it and making it work. But with that being said, I hope you found it useful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped. And if you have any other questions about this app, or you want me to make a part two, or you want me to make some videos about another app, let me know down below and I'll go ahead and do that. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.